You might be wondering why this is called Consider the Lobster. This is a collection of essays by acclaimed author David Foster Wallace on a range of different topics, ranging from politics to the media to radio hosts and many things in between, including a famous essay that he created about the ethics of boiling a lobster to make its flavor more delicious. And really the ethical quandrum and considerations involved in that are kind of woven throughout the book. The ethics of consumption, of creation, and even the media are kind of the core of many of the topics, and his approach to them really is very engaging and comes across incredibly interesting. And so, you know, his perspective is is quite interesting on these very expansive topics, but it brings them all together. I previously had been reading some House of Leaves, and it was putting me in a David Foster Wallace kind of mood. I had had the chance to read some of Infinite Jest, and I emphasized some. Uh, perhaps there are other people who can relate to having read some of the book, but the parts that I did read really intrigued me to find out more uh, by this author, and so I was really excited to come across this book, which has different chapters, each about different stories, and you can kind of jump in anywhere you like, and it felt like a breezy place to start. One of my favorite things um, about this book, aside from, of course, each chapter, is some of the formatting. Pages like these have all these arrows and quotes and boxes. It kind of looks like a flowchart, and I haven't seen many books with pages like this, and I think it looks really unique. The edge of the binding is also cool. It's kind of a textured edge, and I found out that's kind of to mimic the look of a handbound book, so it gives it a unique feel when you're flipping through it. But yes, I'm very excited to read more and check out some more of the uh, essays from this talented author.